everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about essential oils for kids and specifically my top four oils that I use on my little girl and one oil that I do not use on her at all. And I will be getting to why I don't use that oil um, on her in a little bit. But first, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Laura. If you'd like to watch more my videos, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below and thank you to those of you who have already subscribed and are watching my videos. Also, um, check me out on Facebook, the link will be down below. So I would like to talk to you today about essential oils. I have a love for essential oils, I think they're really good and when properly used, they're really, really helpful for kids, babies and adults. But Little disclaimer before I start this video, before I say too much, not all oils are created equal. All, almost all essential oils say on the package 100% pure, but unfortunately there's very little regulation as to what exactly that means. And so you have to be very careful. So do your research about what brand of oils you're using especially if you're using them on kids because kids and babies are more sensitive. So make sure you know where your oils are sourced from and exactly what's in them. I personally am a big fan of using doTERRA oils, but I'm really not completely brand loyal. There are other brands that you can use. I know lots of other people use other brands. So just do your research into what oils you use, especially for kids. Sorry to look down, I'm looking at notes here so that I don't get off track. Essential oils can be used topically. When you're using them topically, I usually put mine into like a roller bottle like this. It's a lot easier to apply, especially if you've got a squirmy baby or toddler. And you can dilute the oils, which is a great way to make your oils last a lot longer and it also makes them absorb better into the skin. You can dilute with sweet almond oil, um, fractionated coconut oil, almost any odor-free liquid oil can be used in a roller ball. And um, I just make different roller ball balls for our little girl and for us, my husband and I, as adults. When you're diluting them for a roller ball, a small baby can use as little as one or two drops of an essential oil and then the rest filled up with another oil, a carrier oil. And then for adults it can be a lot stronger. So this is a great way to make your oils last a really long time but still works really good. The other way to use essential oils for kids is in a diffuser. I diffuse in my daughter's room. My daughter Esther is 20 months old and we've been using oils since she was about five or six months old. But the only thing that I would recommend that you not do for kids or babies for sure is to give them internally. A child should never take essential oils internally. I would say probably young teens and above. Certain oils can be taken internally but not young children and not babies. And lastly, before I get into my list of oils, I'm just talking about five oils today. There are way more oils that you can use on your kids. These are just my favorites. doTERRA even has a kids line of oils, essential oils, that I don't actually have, but um, lots of people really like them as well. So getting into number one, which I think, although I don't use it every single day, I definitely use it for the biggest variety of things and that would be lavender oil. Lavender oil, they call it the queen of essential oils. It really is. It is so multi-purpose. If somebody asked me, what one oil should I buy? I think I would say lavender. It's a top favorite for me. I frequently have to order it. For my baby, since she was very, very young, lavender is a very gentle oil, so you can use it even on newborns. I have used it for teething in a roller bottle like this on the gum line. It worked wonders for her teething. 
I made my own diaper ointment and put lavender oil in there. Another thing that's great when you've got it in a roller ball is if she's bumped her head or she's got bruises anywhere and I just rub it on, it really, it makes the bump go away almost immediately and helps reduce bruising immensely. It is amazing. It is just great. And the last thing that lavender oil I think is really famous for is relaxation. And that is true for kids and babies too. It absolutely works. A drop in the bath is great in the diffuser at night, or even just, you know, if your kids are getting worked up and you want to calm everybody down, lavender oil is really great. Number two, I would have to say is probably lemon oil, but we use it primarily on Esther when she's sick or when she has a cold. It's great for any respiratory problems. I will rub it onto her, che her chest um, onto the bottoms of her feet to be absorbed. That works really, really well. And even if she's really congested in here, I'll just apply like a little dab, a very diluted, again, we're diluting it when it's topical, onto her forehead, and, I've, and I'll do a little sinus massage, and that will really clear out her sinuses too. Especially when she was really little and she didn't know how to blow her nose, I found that was really good. All oh, right, and number four is vetiver. Uh, which one's my vetiver? Ah, this one. Vetiver is an oil that we use every single day in our house. I use it topically on Esther. I give her a little back massage and I apply it on the back of her neck and down her spine. And then I apply it quite liberally to the bottoms of her feet during her bedtime routine right before she goes to bed. I notice a huge difference if I don't use vetiver. And we also diffuse it in her room at night. It makes a big, big difference. And number four, did I say that number three was number four? <laughs> vetiver was number three if I said that. Number four is Zengest. This is a digestive blend and I use it topically only on Esther. Um, when babies are really, really small, it can help with colic and with gas. And even now that she's a toddler, it still really, really helps with gas, helps with any tummy pain, discomfort, and it can also help with diarrhea or constipation. So whatever way extreme you are, <laughs> it can help you bring you back to the middle. And so I use this on Esther on her tummy, I massage onto her tummy, and also on the front of her shins. That's really helpful for gas. It also helps her sleep because I put it on in the evening, and of course she's young enough that she can't tell me if she has a tummy ache, but it really, it really does help if she's got a little bit of gas to just help her pass that, and then she sleeps a lot better. So. Um, Zengest, I use it in the evenings, but I can also I use it during the day, you know, if she's got upset tummy at all. So definitely a top oil for my baby. And last, I would like to talk about the one oil that I have found that I do not use with my baby. And it is Balance. Now Balance is probably my favorite blend of oils that I own. It's very floral, it's very sweet. I love diffusing it, I love the smell. Interestingly enough, I can diffuse it during the daytime with my daughter, it doesn't seem to bother her. But if I diffuse it at night, or I apply it topically to her, she gets really worked up, she starts crying and fussing a lot, and she cannot sleep. It's interesting because lots of people use balance on their babies. And it works really, really good. It's for emotional balancing. And I, I find it really helpful for myself, but not for Esther. And that's something that I just want to point out about essential oils with kids. Since young children can't tell us what they're feeling exactly, it's important to watch their reactions. And not all oils will have the same effect on all children. 
Some children react really badly to lavender. It can give some children night terrors. So if you as a parent are feeling like, this oil doesn't seem to be right, they seem to be worked up, or it seems to be irritating their skin, or whatever it may be, don't use it. Go with your gut instinct. Not all oils work for all children. Although, I really love balance for myself. <laughs> it is such a good oil, but not for Esther. So, I want to throw that one into the list of oils because I just find that so interesting. Lots of babies can use it or, you know, have it around them, but my daughter really does not do well with it. All right, well, that is my five oils that I wanted to talk about. If you use essential oils, either on yourself or on your kids, let me know. What is your favorite oil that you love to use? And I hope that you will join me for my next video. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.